Analytics offers you the possibility to create an MSI from scratch using the WXS files. But for this video, let's try to create a simple bundle of two MSIs. First, we need to get the latest release of Wix toolset from here. Uh, at, this time, at the time of this video, the released version is 3.11.2. Now, after the installer is downloaded, double click on it and install it as default. We are not going to go through the whole process of installing the Wix toolset. This will add all the files needed to work with Wix in Program Files, x86, Wix toolset and the version you download. After that, we will use two MSIs that we have created. As you can see, I have my first MSI.MSI and second MSI.MSI. I have placed them in C Wix bundle folder. Now in the same folder, we need to create a new text file and name it as bundle.wxs. In this file, we will need to paste the following code. This file has an XML structure and there is certain required information that you must place in order to create a bundle. First, we need to add a bundle element this must have a version, manufacturer, and upgrade code defined. In our case, we made the bundle version 1.0 with a test manufacturer and a random upgrade code. Every bundle requires a bootstrapper application to drive the engine. The bootstrapper application ref element is used to refer to a bootstrapper that exists in Wix in order to create the bundle. If you have a specialized bundle which requires a custom bootstrapper app DLL, you must define that path to the DLL. In our case, we use the standard bootstrapper application and this is defined right like here. Next, we add the chain of applications that we need to bundle. This can be added directly under the chain element or we can put a package group reference inside the chain to reference a shared package definition. Wix supports the following chain package types, MSI package, EXE package, MSP package, and MSU. Because we use MSIs, we go with the MSI package type in the XML and specify only where the source files are present, leaving all the other attributes as default. Now that we have the bundle configured as desired, we must build it. In the same folder I showed you earlier where we created the WXS file and the two MSIs, we need to create a batch file. So right click, new text document, and let's call it uh, makebundle.bat. Okay, and now let's open it up and paste the following code. As you can see, we have two lines in our batch file. The first line is targeting candle.exe, which is the Wix compiler. This generates an object file called bundle.wixobj in your folder. The second, the second line is for light.exe, which is the Wix linker. This generates the final installer based on the object created previously. Because we are building a bundle, the Wix bal extension must be provided as an argument in both phases. In other cases, this is not needed. Once you have everything ready, let's go and double click our bat file. And as you can see, our bundle.exe is created. If we double click the installer, yay, there you go. Now this will install both of our MSI packages. If you want to install your newly created bundle silently, you can use the Q, quiet, S, or silent parameters. For example, something like this. We have a more in-depth article regarding created bundle applications using advanced installer that can be found on our blog. Uh, I will paste the link in the description. Now, in this case, I just want to go over shortly over the process that advanced installer offers you and its pros. Now, let's open up Advanced Installer and create a new Enterprise or Architect project. Once we created an Enterprise or Architect project and entered all your product details, let's navigate to the prerequisites page. 
Once here, we can add two example MSIs as feature-based prerequisites like so. So let's right-click feature-based and add a new package prerequisite. Let's go to the place we have them saved. So it's in my PC, C, Wix bundle, first MSI.MSI, and add a new package prerequisite and hit our second MSI. Now, as you can see, Advanced Installer automatically detects the name and version of the MSI. Now, let's go to the Setup Files tab and scroll down to the Install command lines. In our case, everything is silent, so we write slash QB in all of the three cases. Okay, let's do the same with the second one. Now, let's select the Install Conditions tab and check Always Install Prerequisite. In both cases. Now, let's go to the Builds page and select the type of suite you want Advanced Installer to create. Uh, for example, in this case, we want a single EXE setup with the resources inside it. So, with everything done, let's click Save and save the project. Uh, let's call it let's call it bundle.aip and build it and there you go if you double click it everything will be installed it's no argues that wix is a great and powerful tool set it's made its case with complex applications released by microsoft and other software manufacturers during the years but it's not meant for beginners or, or those that want to save time. Advanced Installer offers the same functionality as Wix even more in some cases, but with its powerful and more than graphical user interface, you can create installation suites in minutes, save time on training new colleagues how to use it, and it also stops you from crippling your installer with incorrect configurations.